Oh, come on. <laughs> Good morning from Minnesota. We just spent a couple days with our cousins in uh, Princeton. Had a great time up there, and gosh, it was wonderful because uh, it's a cousin that, you know, just due to sheer distance, never got to spend much time with growing up. So, kind of getting to know each other as adults. And it's a great visit. Uh, we are off to get two new tires, well, four new tires for the motorhome. We stretched out a little more time on the rears, and you know, whether we do it now or in two weeks, it's not really going to make a difference. Um, and it turns out that I was able to get uh, tires for about a hundred dollars less a piece here. They're not the same brand. They're going to be Hankooks or Hancocks, whatever. But they will uh, work, and they're all the proper load ratings and whatnot. So I'm not too particular about that. And uh, then we're going to head over to Hudson. And I have a aunt and godmother that we're going to hang out with for a couple days. And then we have another surprise for you uh, later this weekend. So we're here at Westside Wholesale Tire in Corcoran, Minnesota. And uh, this is where I'm getting a really good deal on tires. And there are some great guys. So we just got backed up here. And putting on the tires and the uh, Hankooks. Yeah, I did some research. They're about as good as any other tire on the market. And something I want to ask you guys is, what's your take on rotating the tires on these motorhomes? Um, I believe in tire rotation, but at the same time, you have valve stem issues if you rotate the tires of like getting them going the right direction. And also, the reason why the front tires wore out faster is when we bought this thing, I did not rotate the uh, tires for about 15, 20,000 miles or about four years. And I got really bad inside tire wear and it actually matched, it was symmetrical cupping of the inside tires. So I'm not sure if I have something going on. Obviously, I would next step would be go to a uh, suspension shop, but that might just be the uh, characteristics of a uh, straight axle front end here and I really should be rotating them every 5,000 miles. But yeah, I'd like to hear what you guys do with your motorhomes and uh, if you rotate the tires every five or 10,000 or what uh, the guy here mentioned is just don't rotate the tires. The rears will last forever and then when the fronts get uh, bad, rotate those. Or I mean, just replace them which doesn't make sense. It's kind of like making the tires just sacrificial. So, I don't know. I guess before I go do anything like that, I'd probably take it to a front end shop and have them do a thorough checkout. But at the same time, do I even want to hear the news if like ball joints are starting to show some wear or something of that nature? Because I can only imagine ball joints would be ridiculously expensive and uh, probably put a little cramp on the budget. So they're just wrapping things up and I'll go in and give them money to support the local economy. Looks like Shelby here is awfully happy. We'll catch up with you later. We have made it to Hudson, Wisconsin and we are trying to figure out a uh, place to camp. We did a little research before we arrived here and we saw that there's a uh, Willow Lake or Willow Creek campground. But it is uh, ridiculously nice. expensive. It, they want $33 a night. Uh, well, sorry, it's $23 a night for a site without hookups or a uh, $33 for a site with electric only. And then on top of that is a $10 vehicle fee. So you're looking at $33 or $43 per night. That's rather steep for just a, uh, I don't know, in my opinion. Nice if it's like we, right on the beach in California or something, I would pay that. <laughs> um, so we're exploring all our apps. Um, Two dogs. Boondocking, dot, welcome.com, Harvest Hosts, um, oh, yeah. okay. All um, Stays. So we are uh, checking place? our uh, navigation because it's an Can you, Garmin RV. So what are your uh, if we don't navigator and 
and it's supposed to have some campgrounds. So let's see what happens. We're here at Willow River Campground. It's rather beautiful, especially with the fall colors, but it is rather expensive and the water is shut off and the, the lake drained. is drained. So it doesn't have all the amenities and I tried to get a discount like saying, oh, you take 10% off for not having the lake and 10% off for the water being turned off. No. She, she wasn't going for it. We're going to lower the jacks and put, put the, the slide down. out and get comfortable. ready for uh, what's gonna happen today? What's gonna happen today? Well, you're gonna have a uh, culinary virginity loss experience. <laughs> you know, now we're going to turn red. <laughs> we're going to a classy joint today. A you've classy joint. Classy, and you've never sense. been there before. No, Focus I haven't. Focus on the joint. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> joint might be the operative word. <laughs> yeah. Today we're with my Auntie Gail, my favorite aunt and godmother. And cousin Jimmy, we are heading to White Castle, and Rebecca's never had a White Castle slider before, so it's going to be a great experience for her. <laughs> Hopefully, it's a great experience. I hope so. I'm a little nervous after. I've yeah, she's Connors heard all the uh, <laughs> definitions of why they're called sliders and uh, kind of what goes in must come out. Gut and bombs. They've gut bombs. They give you gas. There's Jimmy. Oh, if one of them has to go to the bath and wash your hands, that's right there. Okay. That's the ladies. Got it. There's a booth right there. Should we sit there? Sure. Yeah, that'd be great. A vegetable slider? Wow, what is the world coming to? Last night we finished watching over two nights because we fell asleep. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. So uh, that's kind of a little theme of a movie. I'm not eating 30 sliders. Well, it's like 30 sliders, five cherry cokes, and five... Six french fries. Or six, no, it's onion chips. Oh, onion chips. I think. So, yeah, we're not going that far. Onion chips are like the fingers, too. Yeah. This is my Okay, but you got treated for the Okay, we won't argue there. Alright, I will get three of the original sliders and onion chips and a large drink. I will have... Oh, let's go with the 10 pack. There's a coupon right there. What's in there? Uh, a sack of 10. Yeah, a sack of 10 sliders and then a medium drink and a sack of onion chips. That will do it. This is what I was talking about. You have to exercise your cardiovascular system by doing a stress test every now and then. And it's worth your current comment. Yes. So here are the sliders. These must be Jimmy. They come in little boxes. This is a double. This is a double. A double slider. And a sack of gas. Yeah, I would agree with you. This is how I eat if I take off the bottom. Okay. <laughs> you ready? I'm gonna do it the way your auntie Gail oh. bring it without the bottom. Should I put some ketchup on it or something? Whatever you like. This is her first taste, Jim. How do you like it? Oh, make a make like a happy yet. face. You got make your first one with the bun. The way it's meant to be. Oh, come on. It's tasty. She is, she's officially lost her White Castle virginity. Okay, we're about to dig in and enjoy our meal. Well, that meal definitely itched my scratch for White Castles. Uh, I can't think of two more appropriate people to share the meal with. The only person missing was my pops. And your pops. Oh. And he's <laughs> here with us in spirit. Uh, and uh, yeah, he can't have them in San Diego, but 
I definitely will enjoy rubbing it in. Because <laughs> he did the same to me when he was here uh, a few weeks ago. Oh, yep. did he? Yep. Oh. So is your life complete now that you've had White Castle? I, I feel it is. I mean, 10 years, 11 years ago, I learned that I was really missing something in my <laughs> life. And it's taken this long to feel complete. I, I, yeah. I think I'm good now. Okay. Last time I had White Castle was with my three <laughs> friends, uh, or my two friends, Jeremy and Mike. We were doing a guy's trip across country when I was moving to Pennsylvania uh, while Rebecca was in grad school. And we stopped at a White Castle in the uh, Missouri area. And the next day we visited uh, the Gateway Arch. And if you've ever been there, you have these little pods that you ride up to the top of the arch. Well, my buddy Jeremy just ripped a nasty old see? fart when the three of us are in this when, pod that's like so up. small. Yeah. And it was Central? horrible, but yeah. yeah, hilarious at the same just time. Water. And it's it, only boys think farts are. Yeah, and it was even more hilarious when <laughs> uh, we got to the top and there were people waiting to jump into this pod. So we left them with a little gift. <laughs> and uh, the rest of that ride was very noisy and entertaining. It was a great trip. Good memories on that one. Well, thanks for watching. That was the watching. highlight of his trip. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoy our videos, give them a thumbs up, comment, like, share. We appreciate it all. Thanks.